Praise be to Jesus Christ, now and forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to hear Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my ship, which was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin which I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this Thursday of the 31st week in ordinary time, the Church invites us to reflect on the Gospel passage according to St. Luke chapter 15 verses 1 to 10 as we have just heard. And in this narrative, Jesus narrates to us two parables, the parable of the lost ship and the parable of the lost coin. The first verses are fascinating. The author speaks of the tax collectors and sinners who all draw near to hear Jesus. And it hints to me that although Jesus knew their identity and way of life, he never judged them. He never told them how bad they are. He never told them how terrible they were. But rather, he welcomed them and told them about the significance of, conver of conversion and repentance. And then there is another group of people he mentions, the Pharisees and scribes. This group is well represented by the society today. My dear friends, we live in a condemning and judgmental society where even religious leaders will fearlessly stand before you and claim that you will never see the kingdom of God. Then my argument will be, if you are so good, why would you not help us who are weak to be better? Why are you discouraging us? Why are you putting us down? And then in verses 4 onwards, Jesus narrates these two parables to this set of people, the tax collectors and sinners. Drawing from these parables, Jesus is terrible when it comes to mathematics and business studies. Because for him, one is greater than 99. That is from the story of the lost ship. And one is greater than nine, the story of the lost coin. That's the human way of thinking. Jesus was trying to show them that in the eyes of God, each and every individual matters. He tried to show them that God will practically leave everything and go after his one child who is lost. Therefore, my takeaway message to whoever is lost, stranded or confused is, God is looking for you. Avail yourself so that he finds you quickly. Amen.